Hello everyone, my name is Maggie. Welcome to Diaries of Maggie Peters. In this channel, I feature content relating to home deco, health, and lifestyle. For stopping by, thanks so much. Be blessed. Can you hear, can you hear, can you hear my Guys, today we decided to uh, have a lunch date with my friend and we are at Noor. I've been saying Noor restaurant, but when you come to Italy, just get to say Noor restaurant simply because it's a Somali. Is it Somalian? Somalian language. Come here. Yeah, okay, in the Somalian language, that's when in Noor, see Noor. Yeah, and actually, I'm about to taste the Danini. Are you ready? And actually, it's just opposite Hordan Complex Center. Let me get to show you. Yeah, just opposite this, you can get the restaurant, and it's a very nice place you can get to chill when you come to Italy. Guys, for those who are asking me my skin routine, <laughs> um, me <laughs> not. I always just. Nini ni mbona na chika chote ni malize. Ote malize skincare routine yangu. I always get to use a cream and scrubber. Na pia ni nda gym asubui to release the excess. Yeah, the excess oil. The excess oil on the face. You need it. I have a dream. That's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Know what I want, so I'll take it on. I made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong. Let's break it down for a minute. I want the crown, I'm gon' get it. You hear me loud, man, I'm winning. Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be grinning. These ladies know that I'm sinning, and this is just the beginning. I'm closing in the night, pitting. There ain't no point in resisting. Living life like a dream, baby, right, that's the thing. Every night, got a team, I've been tied to the scene. So, good morning, guys. Today it's on. Today's on. On Monday, yeah, I went to Gikomba on Saturday, and that was the last time I took my camera to vlog <laughs> my weekly vlog. That is, but I got some things and I would like to share out with you as usual. And so, guys, let's get into it. So, the things that I was targeting when I went to Gikomba are beddings by beddings, I mean duvet, duvet covers, uh, mats, side bed mats that is pillowcases name all and guys let me just go in a very quick way to show what i bought yeah so here it's one of the pillows that i bought it's full of butterflies yeah full of butterflies and a pair of it was going for 200 Kenyan shillings and next i have this one whereby i'll be i'll be using this one to make pillows by that I mean I'll have to go back to Gikomba. I buy pillow fibers that is. Whereby I was told pillow fibers get to go for 350 Kenyan shillings per kg. So that's a save. If that one I bought for 200 and 350 Bob can make a pair of pillow. That means I have saved a lot since one pillow gets to go for 500 Kenyan shillings and I think it's a save of some amount if I'm not wrong. You can do the maths on that. The other item I bought was this one, of which it's a pillowcase, which is two sided and it goes with the theme of what I want. I want wood like, I want white, I want, I'm not either sure to go with a blue theme and white or total white with such wood and white. 
i'm not sure i'll decide as time goes so that's the reason why i'm urging you guys to subscribe since i'll be showing you too much of diys too much of makeovers and yeah i hope that you're going to be growing together the other item was this woolen woolen pillow case that is of which also this one i'll be using it to make a pillow since this one is a bigger size than the other one it's not the normal size it's so so big and this one was going for 350 kenyan shillings of which i think it's a fair price since the same same type you will get one piece is 500 instead of a pair of which it's 500 so guys let me get to show you also i bought a duvet which it's so so much detailed <clears throat> let me show you let me come close to the camera i hope it can be seen yeah 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 it's so so much detailed and these two bits are six by six and for a six by six it's okay it went for only two thousand kenyan shillings but who is maggie maggie always get to bargain <laughs> the kikuyu in me uh -uh. Mm -mm. i won't allow myself to buy things at the actual price i always teach you guys always learn to bargain something else i bought was a uh, duvet cover let me get to show you of which it's it gets to blend in with the theme of what i want by now you know that maggie loves gray black and white and that will be the theme of my bedroom but i'm not sure if i will go with something navy blue i'm not sure especially on the wall that is you can see how detailed it is and you guys you guys you guys imagine all this it's a six by six and it was only going for a thousand kenyan shillings only because a new one goes for around four thousand and the ones that i was seeing online it wasn't uh becoming the taste of what i want plus it's becoming like a kenyan uniform everyone has it and the good thing of drifting is that you will buy something unique let me get to show you something else i bought something else was these run mats you can see you can see you can see you can see a run bed mat or a side mat that is and it's a it's in a good condition as you can see this one was going for 1500 kenyan shillings of which i think it's a fair price because when I get to compare still with the new ones, I think Ningenda broke. <laughs> Ningenda broke initially. The last item I bought, though it's not part of the bedding, was this one. It's a... It's a what? It's a shoe rack. That was the last thing I bought since I didn't have a shoe rack. And I don't have too much time to... Oh, okay or i don't have the resources to start making my own shurak maybe i'll do it later ones. but yeah that's all guys and i think that's all about the haul so the next thing i'll be doing today or later ones, i'll be cooking dinner of which i'll tag you along in that and yeah let's get into it later ones. I don't know if I made the wrong decision, but 
Even if it was a kid, you may talk. Don't judge me. This is the first time I've tried cooking. <laughs> Uh, fish stew that is I've never and I have not even tasted it. I hope that I would like the taste even if the presentation is not that nice. And without that, let me get to enjoy my lunch. Yeah. And so guys, we come to the end of this vlog. We let me just get to wrap up this weekly vlog that is but eh uh, okay, I don't know. Let me get to see on my next video. <laughs> and please, okay, the fish, I can get to rate it 6 out of 10. I didn't like it. Will I ever get to cook fish stew again in my whole entire life? No. Never, 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 never. I won't. Uh, other thing is that please get to give this video a thumbs up. It always gets to motivate me to create more and more videos that is and also subscribe we get to hit to 500 subscribers before the month ends that's my prayer that's my prayer by the way if you're watching this video just subscribe it's free give it a thumbs up it's free sharing it's free do whatever you want with the video you are my viewers just subscribe just like with all that i will appreciate and so guys bye 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 and have a fantastic week ahead of you and may god bless you bye